Okay. So now that you um, have an idea of that we're not just going to talk about the physical line itself um, and that there is a relationship between the two values, we're going to actually go ahead and just graph in the slope intercept form. So I'm going to show you two different ways to graph. Um, you can choose which way you want to do it, but look at how the linear equation is set up. So for instance, let's, this is the slope intercept format. If you notice, it's always set up as y equals. This is an easy way to graph it once it's set up in y equals format. Um, um, as I said in the last video, m is your slope, b is your y-intercept. So when you're graphing, you're always going to start at b. You're always going to start at the y-intercept. So I wrote out this equation, y equals, so we know it's in the slope-intercept format. This is my slope. This is my y-intercept. So I'm going to start at the y-intercept. So I'm going to put a point on the y-axis, so remember y is your vertical line, at negative 1. So um, when you're setting up your Cartesian coordinate system, this is my y-axis, this is my x-axis, and it'll be that way every time. So with y-intercept form, I start at my negative 1, I put a point. Now I'm going to talk about slope. So we're going to be able to calculate what the slope is. The slope in, a, in, a, in a, a physical format is the rise. So the slope equals the rise over the run. So it's a relationship. It's a ratio between how far up do I go and how far over do I go. So with this particular slope, I'm always going to rise. If you ever um, go down, you're going in a negative direction. So you have to be careful of which way you go. So I always teach it, I rise, always rise, because slope is rise over run. So from my y-intercept, which is right here, I'm going to rise to 1, 2, and then I'm going to run 3. So since this is a positive slope, I'm going to run in the positive direction. So I start here, negative 1 is my y-intercept. I rise 2, and then I run 3, 1, 2, 3 and I put a point, okay? Now I can do it again. From this point, I'm gonna rise two and run three. I only need two, li two points to make a line, but just to show you that it's consistent, I can do it twice. So there's my line. From my y-intercept of negative one, I rise two, run three, rise two, run three, rise two, run three. So it's a consistent uh, slope or, or positive um, increase. And this, this graph is increasing in nature. The higher my x value, the higher my y value. So it's an increasing slope. So the idea is you know it's increasing. One, because we have a positive value here. Two, if you're walking along, so let's say I'm walking along, I hit the line and I go uphill. Okay, I don't go down. I hit the line and I go up. That's an increasing slope. Okay, let's try another one. So now, let's make it a negative 3x plus 2. Okay, it's still in the slope intercept format. y equals, I'm good to go. There's my slope, there's my y intercept. So I'm going to graph it. I'm going to start at plus 2. So there's my positive 2. Then from there, put in my marks. Then from this positive 2, I'm going to rise 3. Now, there's nothing underneath it. So anytime you have a whole number, all you have to do is put it over 1. Negative 3 is the same as negative 3 over 1. So I'm going to rise 3. So notice I'm always rising. I'm never going down. I'm always going to rise. So from my positive 2, I'm going to rise 3. But now I'm going to run in the negative direction. So I automatically go to the negative side because my slope is negative. So I rise 3, run 1, and there's my line. And that really is it. Always rise. If your slope is negative, you're going to run in the negative direction. If your slope is positive, you're going to run in the positive direction. This is a decreasing slope. So again, if I'm walking along and I hit that line, I'm going to go downhill. So the idea is the higher my x value, the lower my y value. So it goes in opposite directions, so it's a decreasing slope. And that's how you graph in slope-intercept format.